Yeah. I definitely felt like in my old building, it was for Japanese families. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, you were I living was... in an area that was very like, oh yeah, not, not exactly like gaijin friendly. I mean, we no. all were. We all yeah, were, because yeah. we all lived five minutes away from each other yeah. back in the day. Yeah. And I, um, I lived even further out than you guys. Mm. So yeah. I definitely lived with like all like the- um, And in a relatively and... older building as well, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was super old. Yeah. And uh, it was definitely a family building as well. I don't know any, I didn't see anyone else there who looked even remotely my age. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they were nice though. I never really had any problem. I, I got a, I got a noise complaint, but I expected as much. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're shouting at fucking two yeah. a.m. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, it's one of those things that- It's only a matter of time. When yeah. I first moved in, I would literally walk around my own apartment like Metal Gear Solid. Like I was so, cause I'd heard nightmare scenarios yeah. about noise right. where I was just tiptoeing around my apartment like, at night, because yeah, I yeah. genuinely thought if I just walked at a normal brisk pace, yeah. I would get like shouted at. <laughs> but you know, the months go on and you start to realize, you know, okay, okay, I guess- I, I can't I, help the clapping of my ass cheeks being yeah. so loud. <laughs> I'm so dummy thick. Yeah, it's so dummy thick. You know, then one time I had friends over who stayed over till five and I never got a noise complaint. And mm. then I was like, oh, okay. And then you slowly get more comfortable. <laughs> you you know, test yeah. the limit. <laughs> yeah, because you know, and then maybe something happened where, all right, there's a deadline. I have to record this thing. It's 2 a.m. Mm. and they need it right right now. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll do it. I'll just scream one line and I'll do it. And then I also I had to record voice lines one time I, dis I distinctly remember were full on shouting. Yeah. Uh, but this was like midday. Yeah. But it was to the point where I was, sh this is shouting so loud and so aggressively that I, I would totally understand if the police were called right. in yeah. any scenario. It sounded like a murder was happening. Li around. Literally, even a murderer <laughs> wouldn't have done it with such conviction the way I did. <laughs> so I was, I did that and that definitely made me more confident. Right. So it was one of those things where I just built up and then I started streaming and I started streaming later yeah. Yeah. and later and later. And then I started streaming louder and louder. <laughs> and then eventually I got a noise complaint, yeah, which right. was totally, cause I think it was one where I was totally screaming at 4 a.m., yeah. which I totally understood. I just assumed the people below me, because this was a, a four bedroom. I just assumed they were sleeping in a totally different room mm. and they were so old that they nothing would wake them up. That's I, the I thing, was hoping yeah. that they were that kind of old people yeah. where they were they were not getting up for anything. Yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes like you get lucky because like the the room that if you especially if you have multiple rooms, the room that you scream the loudest yeah. in is nowhere near where the person downstairs is sleeping. Yeah, it's 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 always it's mostly like where is the bedroom located? Mm. Yeah, right? and and am I making a lot of noise where their bedroom is located? Because anywhere else, I feel like it's the the more understanding about it, but it's always the bedroom. Yeah, and I th I think like I really lucked out with the apartment. I had before because I've never got a noise complaint, mm. and I'm I think very lucky. I don't yeah. know how you. Yeah. I, I feel like I definitely should. Like I fucking limit test that thing. I, 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 oh, we I, had I, parties at your house yeah, at yeah. five a.m. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we've, we've had very loud parties at five a.m. Um, on a Saturday, so if we weren't being complete. Oh, no, but, but, but doesn't matter to the old people. people. It's in, a in Japan, oh, in Japan, that is that is, not, uh, <laughs> that is not that is that is not acceptable anywhere. But uh, yeah. it's uh, yeah, I fucking limit broke that shit, <laughs> and I uh, didn't get a noise complaint, and I'm like very very. Surprise. Saturdays, it, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is to an old person. Mm. Like, it, cause like the cops aren't gonna be like, all right, we got a noise complaint. You'd be like, bro, it's Officer, Saturday. License to party, yeah. it's a Saturday. Yeah. Cops are like, understandable, uh, have a nice day. Yeah. I just I just feel like, I, I feel like I lucked up because I feel like I had neighbors who had like a mutual understanding. Cause mm, I yeah. feel like I've had the only neighbor I can, I, I that I've know of of anyone living in Japan that was like really fucking noisy. Mm. Yeah, um, like they would have arguments all the fucking time, and it wasn't mm. just like a Japanese argument. It was full on shouting sometimes. It was right. the most. Un-Japanese wow. Japanese argument I've wow. ever heard, right? And I'm just like, if 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 you if you make noise, then you know I'm, I'm going to make noise yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm making mutual one, understanding. Yeah, mutual yeah. understanding. That's that's the, it's a symbiotic relationship, you know. Oh, I mean, the way, the way I, I I was always very, you know, even if I wasn't making noise, I would be if, if they're having a party once a month. Yeah, so be it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, it's once a month. I yeah. can live with that. It's yeah. not like I have like. Uh, a, I don't know, like a bonsai tree that's sensitive to noise or something in my apartment that shits itself and hears two decibels. You know what I mean? Like I'm, yeah. I think it's okay. I think yeah. Yeah. that's why I wouldn't really call the cops, but Japanese people have no chill with that and they no. just immediately call the cops. Well, no, because to them it's like, why are you being so loud at home when you could just go to an izakaya yeah. or go out in town and have fun? And I'm like, I would, if everything doesn't close yeah. at 8 p.m. and alcohol can't be served anyway. Well, yeah, one of the things that's been so, taking so long in my new place is that my office, I've actually like gone through the whole effort of like trying to sound treat it to the best of my ability. Mm. Right. As much as you can, because the best way to sound treat 
proof a room you should do it while they're building the goddamn room yeah, of yeah course. um you know but yeah. i've had to do it in post yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's been a nightmare because i've had to put like two layers of stuff on my wall and then i still haven't done it all yet um so like two layers of fabric mm -hmm. um that i've attached to the wall and then i'm doing the third which is the like sound foam yeah because yeah, yeah. you know youtubers just put like four pieces and they're like it's soundproof <laughs> my room and it's like that is not even remotely soundproof <laughs> I like the I like the rooms where it's like one piece over here and another piece over here. And it's, it's just like, it's just one piece behind where they're sitting. And yeah. I'm like my job here is done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My my limb looks super weird right now because it's mm. just all like every single wall is like black plastic rubber. Mm. Yeah, uh, but it works. It's it, like you can't really hear like much. Immediately outside. the echo is gone. It's yeah, and so I I put a I put a layer of the. Uh, the rubber stuff down as well. And then I put noise reducing carpet on top of it. Mm. So like you can jump in my room, neighbors ain't gonna hear shit downstairs. Yeah, I, I, I actually just finished laying yeah, out that the carpet well, yeah. in my office as well. Like finally. Yeah, like, cause I, I, I was talking about Joe what I was doing. Joe was like, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, so yeah. I decided to do that in my room because my, my room was like super fucking echoey because I have like yeah. wooden floors, right? So immediately- It helps so much, immediately, yeah. Immediately once I put up, before I even started putting up the sound foam, immediately with the carpet, it's yeah. like 80% of the echo e Yeah, every single wall you do makes it, it gets better results. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not since I moved to Japan that I'm just like, man, carpets are good. I miss carpets. Yeah, because like we had carpets in England. Like you, 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 you didn't have a like you didn't have a house. You never had a house in England that had wooden floors, right? Because it's not good for noise. Uh, not noise. Like uh, we had uh, heat insulation. No, really? Well, no, living room was wooden, but upstairs was carpet. Yeah, yeah. So our house like, was like half wooden. In, half in like your rooms, you'd have carpet. And yeah. like, I, I didn't know how much I missed that until I moved to Asia, where everything here is wooden floors. Mm. Well, we, we had like fitted carpet in in Europe, I think, mm. where like they come in and they specially like get the right size and they fit it all professionally. Yeah, yeah. But in Japan, they always use these the, the square like just pick up and go it's, kind yeah. of yeah. the the post carpet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just they in Japan like a lot of the carpets are just like you'll see them everywhere. They're just like these. Like cubes. Yeah, they're, uh, we have or it like here. Squares, yeah, yeah, they're everywhere. Like they're just like squares. You plonk them down, and then you just cut them around the edges. Mm, so yeah, like, yeah. I had to like hand cut it to my room. It looks really fucking good. Yeah. But I spent like a whole fucking day doing yeah, it. Yeah, I did too because my room's not square. Yeah, it's yeah, like same, it's same. like weird fucking shapes. I'm like, oh, and cutting the corners and stuff is yeah. a pain in the ass. So like it looks good from a distance, mm. but when you get down on the floor, you see how much of a shit job. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit's just, hard, man. It's hard. I'm yeah. very proud of it. I've been DIYing for like two days yeah, now. It looks oh, great. Yeah. It looks amazing. Same, and yeah. when everything's set up, it should be good. Yeah, yeah that'll be me in like two months. Yeah, I think. Because right. I think I'm the last one to move out. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm <clears> planning <throat> to have a whole wall of just JoJo posters. Oh, nice. That, that'll be like- Didn't like you have that in your old place? No, no, literally because <laughs> before you could see the walls. I was right. gonna make it like- Oh, the, like, like, put like it literally like 90% like of the wall is just right. JoJo posters. Isn't it already? <laughs> no, but like they had gaps. They had gaps. I don't want gaps. I want it to be literally. It like looks like the wall, side, the side wall side. is made out of Jojo. <laughs> the wall is Jojo. The wall, the wall is, Jojo. is Jojo. The floor is Jojo. Yeah, like, I thought like, how good, of a, how good of a shot would it be? It's like just behind me. It's literally just Jojo. That's so badass. <laughs> the wall is Jojo. I, so like the way I attached it to the wall was like, I wasn't sure if it would, it would like, be able to hold the posters because this this rubber stuff that I got to prevent sound mm, yeah. is, is fucking heavy. Yeah, right. You you bought a roll as well, right? Yeah, it is. Like it's, it's massive. It's uh, what is it? Uh, ten meters. Mm. It's a ten meter roll. And By like one meter wide, I think. One meter wide, yeah. ten meters long, and it's twenty kilograms, <laughs> and it is so fucking heavy. Yeah. Put that on your wall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. How? with great difficulty. <laughs> and so I was concerned. I was like, the way I attached it, I was like, I wonder if it will stay if I then put posters on it. So before mm. I left for my trip, I attached yeah. the posters and I was like, hopefully when I come back, my wall will be intact. Yeah. And it, luckily it's intact. It's intact, yeah. <laughs> should be fine. But the, the poster frames I have are extremely light. They're like the lightest poster frames. Oh yeah, okay, that's you good. should be all right. Yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. Hopefully. Be really awkward if I'm streaming one day and my whole wall just, <laughs> just fucking comes down. I, I feel like the big test is going to be in summer, right? Or next summer. I'm just going to leave yeah. my AC on because all, all, all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm, no. not, I'm not risking it. Really, all the time. That's AC what on? I did in my in my current place. God. Because the, the you know <clears throat> the electricity bill, right? If you have, I had like what like twenty grand of computer equipment in my room and, mm. and filming equipment. The AC bill to have it running all, all, all the time is what? Like maybe an extra 200, 300 bucks for the whole summer? 
Well, yeah, it depends on how long you have it on for, I guess. But. So for the, the summer period, just yeah. leave it on. Yeah. I'll pay that much just to have my equipment be fine. Yeah, that's true. Humidity fucks your mm. microphones and cameras and PC equipment. I, I, I would rather just have the whole room AC 20%. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking to invest in a dehumidifier just to put around just get a my- a dehumidifier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have a dehumidifier like now. As, as, as like a Southeast Asian, I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm like part of, my, part of my soul is dying when you I hear put AC the, is on 24 no, no, seven, man. You can put the AC <laughs> on dehumidify. <laughs> There's a setting for dehumidify. Yeah, that's true. So well, I, just, I leave it okay, on Okay, that. okay, okay. What, hap what happens you... if the, when the AC inevitably breaks? It's an, it's a good AC. It's not break. <laughs> no, but didn't, no, your, no. didn't your AC break? <laughs> well, what, so I, I, yeah, one of the other ACs broken, but. Yeah, so, yeah, what, so what's the say when happening the, in your room? Yeah. The other one for two years was fine. I'll deal with it when it breaks. <laughs> That's, it'll be down for like three days at most. It's fine, right? Right. Because, 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 like, I, because, like, I, grew, I grew up with, like, I grew, I grew up with my parents beating into me. That is just like, look, the world could be on fucking fire right now, but you're not turning on that AC unless you like <laughs> really, also, really I'm needed to. Comments being like, Connor's wasting so much electricity. He's not in the room, and I'm like, no, no, it's you know, I'm saving, saving money he's, from not. Yeah, he's to saving the, the equipment. equipment. He's saving the equipment.